What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this relatively long video, I'll be showing you how to install and set up and start developing in .NET 6 MAUI. What is .NET 6 MAUI? Well, put simply, it's a new addition to .NET in .NET 6 that allows you to develop using a Blazor for multiple platforms, Windows, Mac OS, Android and iOS, and probably Linux at some stage in the future. Though, Coming first is Windows, of course, then Mac OS, and probably Linux after that, hopefully. You can simply develop UIs natively on all of these different platforms inside of one project and build them out and test them on all of them. So you can press a button to debug on Windows, press another button to launch up an Android debugger, etc. And you build your project in one place, manage it from one place. Not the best at explaining it, but I'll show you how to set it up, install it, and start using it. So in order to start building and working in .NET 6 MAUI, you need to install the latest Visual Studio that's currently in pre-release, though of course when the future comes around, this video will still be relevant to that. We'll need to download Visual Studio 2022. To do this, we need to go ahead and download the preview installer, which will add it to our Visual Studio installer. Of course, if you open up Visual Studio installer now, you won't see 2022 unless you download the preview installer. So head across to the first link in the description down below to download Visual Studio 2022 Preview. Click Download Preview, and then Download Preview under Community, unless of course you've paid for it. Then I'll wait for the download to finish, and click on it to open it up. Now, following through with the installer, it'll open up the Visual Studio installer for the 2022 Preview. Awesome. So inside of here, we need to select a couple of these in order to get started. We need ASP.NET and Web Development, mobile development with .NET, as well as universal Windows platform development. And on top of this, I'll be using .NET Desktop, though I'm pretty sure it'll probably only work with UWP. Well, that's pretty much what they explain on their help documents, which you'll find linked down below about installing .NET MAUI. They only show these three. I'll be installing .NET Desktop as an extra. Then on the right hand side, you need to expand mobile development with .NET and make sure .NET MAUI preview is checked. On top of this, if you're going to be building for Android, you'll need to refer to this page over here, Installation, to see exactly what you need to do for Android. So .NET MAUI requires Android 12 SDK to install. So install the following items. Microsoft build of OpenJDK, which you need to do on top of the version that Visual Studio installs. And you'll use the default installation configuration settings. Then after installing OpenJDK 11, Visual Studio should automatically consume it. However, if it doesn't set the path to the OpenJDK install in Tools Options Xamarin, Android Settings, Java Development Kit Location Field. We'll get back to this just now. On top of this, we'll be changing settings down here. Anyways, let's get back to the installation. So that's it for now. I'll click Install. Of course, making sure I have space on my drive. For now, I think I'll place it on a different drive. Yep, that seems about right. Install. Now, of course, while it installs, all you need to do is sit back and relax. And there we go. Visual Studio 2022 is now open. Awesome. So, of course, from here, you can download a sample or anything off of Microsoft's website, or we can just start one. In the description down below, you'll find a link to this help document here, building your first app. So, of course, we'll simply just follow along with these steps. We will create a new project, and in all project types, all we need to do is select from the drop down Maui right down here. There we go. .NET Maui app, .NET Maui Blazor app, and .NET Maui class library. I'll be selecting .NET Maui app, or rather .NET Maui Blazor app. Of course, if you'd like to use HTML, CSS, and the rest, rather than whatever language this would be in, I think this might be in maybe Xamarin. Anyways, Blazor app. I'll leave it in here, that's probably fine. Create the project, and as you can see, Android, Blazor, iOS, Mac, Catalyst, Mac OS, Maui, WinUI, etc. And there we go, the project's now opening. And at the top, you can see, we can start debugging in Android emulator, Windows machine, framework, .NET Android, Android emulators, iOS, iOS simulators, iOS remote devices, etc, etc. If, however, we don't have an Android emulator, how exactly are we supposed to use this? Well, at the very top, hit Tools, hover over Android, and choose Android SDK Manager. Click Yes when prompted for admin, and we'll see this window here, which will now wait for it to load. I'll click Repair, Accept, awesome. So, Android 12S, I'll expand this, and we'll need to tick Android SDK Platform 31. Although I think it's installing something down here already. We need to wait for this to finish first. 
And there we go. Okay, so expanding Android 12S, we need to go ahead and tick Android SDK Platform 21 and then simply apply changes. This is all that's asked of us for the installation here. Once again, from this same information page here. Though before we do install this, something else which you'll make note of is the OpenJDK up here that we didn't actually download yet. So I'll head across there, download it, download the latest Windows installer, not the zip, and I'll run the installer first. All right, so next, agree, next. We'll leave everything as is, next, and install. Though I should probably also close Visual Studio for this. Now we can get to setting up our Android virtual machine or emulator. So VS 2022, I'll open the same sample project, tools, Android, Android SDK manager, wait for it to update, Android SDK platform 31, apply changes, accept, and then just wait for it to install. And there we go. Awesome. Now I should be able to run these. So I could select my physical Android connected to my PC with the debugging mode on, or I can choose, say, create an Android emulator, leave it as the default, create device, accept. And now we have a virtual machine setting up here, Google Pixel API 28 plus Google Play. This of course will take some more time to install and set up. And though we should have it, but there's an error over here. We need to install and configure a mobile OpenJDK here, which we did download and install earlier. For this, I'll head into Tools, Options, headed down to Xamarin, Android Settings, and then we'll look for the Java Development Kit location. This should, of course, be set to our brand new one that we just installed. So opening up C Program Files Android JDK, you can see here Microsoft Dist Open JDK 1.8.0, blah, blah, blah. Open up this folder here, then copy this at the very top, and we'll be pasting it in here. Now that we've done that, hit OK, and heading back into the debugger menu here, create Android emulator, clicking yes for admin, create. This time, it works properly. I'm able to start up the Android emulator, which is currently a Google Pixel, and here it is here. Although, of course, starting up the first time, it should take some time. And there we have it, running a basically fully functional Android, which we can, of course, debug our program in. Ah, yes, completely forgot. I need to pull down the notification bar and then click start. Now I can not copy my backup. I'll skip logging in with Google, skip fingerprint, not put in a password, nothing else. There we go. I think I just skipped the installation and setup process in the beginning there. However, if you're testing it, if you receive any of these sort of errors talking about project not selected to build for this solution configuration in the build output, or you receive an error on the screen, such as the project doesn't know how to run this profile, what can we do to fix it? Well, there's a couple more things that you need. In the description down below, you'll also find single project MSIX packaging tools for VS 2022 and Windows App SDK Experimental. You need to install both of these plugins or extensions for it to work properly. So I'll download this one, close under Visual Studio 2022, install it, install, and I'll also download and install the Windows App SDK. I'll open it up and then I'll wait for this to install as well. So install, and as you can see, it's also requiring me to install UWP tools for Visual Studio 2022. And because I have 2019 installed, it's gonna to want to install for that as well. That's fine. I'll leave both of them to download and install. And there we go. Close. Let's reopen Visual Studio 2022. And reopening the project, waiting for it to load. I'll go ahead and start it up on say Windows machine first, so it can launch on WinUI. Although you can see over here that we need to deploy our project first to test it on Windows. So from the build or platform menus over here, select configuration manager, and then check deploy on the right hand side, close, and of course for debug as well, deploy, then we'll go ahead and start it up. So if you still get the error, you may need to restart your computer entirely. Let's switch across to the Android emulator. Of course, deploy should already be checked. And there we have it. The .NET project is launching and we're in the simple hello world as we'd hope to be. Awesome. So of course, this will continue working. Trying the other platforms will work. Similarly, though for the Windows one to work, you will likely have to restart your computer, which I'll go ahead and do at a later stage. But anyways, that's about it for this tutorial. It brings us to a close. Everything's working as we'd hope, and hopefully this is a good place to get you started. Thank you all for watching. My name's been taken over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.